Wagonway is an early form of railway, horse-drawn, on cast iron rails, fixed on stone sleeper blocks. Here at Silkston, we have one such example of such a fantastic wagonway. In the early 19th century, before the age of steam, the only way to move heavy loads was to use horses. We're talking about a period at the end of the 1700s. Midway through the Industrial Revolution, there was a need for new fuel, and the fuel was here underground. The canals couldn't get to this point because of the gradients involved. The canal company paid for the, the wagonway to be built from Barmby Basin to Sulston Cross. The local landowner and pit owner of the time was a Robert Clark, and he actually paid for the continuation of the wagonway from Sulston Cross right over the top into the next valley and down to Husker Pit. The only way of getting the coal out was to build the wagonway across an inclined plane which dealt with those steep gradients. As soon as they laid the wagonway, within a few years there was 80,000 tonnes of coal a year running down this track. Well, we're standing on the route of the wagonway where the coal was brought down from the coal mines further up the valley and it was brought to the basin which is behind the building immediately behind me. The building itself was used as a point of counting the wagons that came from various different private branch owners. The main line of the wagonway was run by the canal company who charged tolls, but off at various intervals there were branch lines. Now these were built by the, the individual colliery owners uh, to bring the coal down onto the main line. The section of the wagonway from Bombay Basin to, through to Silkston to this point where we stand was very nice flat terrain but not a problem for the horses to draw the wagons at all. When we get to this point we've got a quite a substantial hill, a 50 metre rise of a hill behind us. It was necessary to build a steam engine to actually bring up the, the tubs of coal to the right to the top of the hill. Once the loaded wagons reached the top of the hill behind us via the steam engine, then they had to be lowered down into this valley. This was counterbalanced by the empty tubs going back up the hill to be filled for the next uh, run. The wagon wheels were like a cartwheel, flat. The rails um, had a, a vertical flange which guided the wheels. The wagonway was not only a coal railway, it was also carrying other goods, goods that were needed by the collieries and by the shop, and we have records of whale oil, treacle, sugar, herrings, timber, and various kinds of ropes for use in the collieries. The significance of the wagonway isn't just about the route itself, but actually the fact that it sits within a fantastic example of an early mining landscape that's surprisingly well preserved um, and is kind of a microcosm of the way the industry was at the point at which it changed from a local industry supplying local needs to a global concern. I think we're pretty fortunate in this area that this was 150, 200 years ago a very industrial landscape. Uh, the fact that it seemed to revert back to a rural landscape very quickly after that has actually preserved all that we've got here and I'm sure we've found an awful lot and there's an awful lot left to find. The wagonway today is largely still visible. It's still a bridleway, there's horses, bicycles, ramblers come along. It's um, a really important example of pre-steam railways um, and the development of early transport routes that weren't just taking coal from out of here but were actually providing a link with the, the growing global markets in the rest of the world. We are the members of the Robbins Local History Group of Silkston. One of our main projects has been the Wagonway. Part of what we're doing is trying to promote this and uh, get it out to a wider audience if you like. <laughs>